Excuse me there, young lady. May I ask you somewhat of a strange question? Have you had anything stolen by a pickpocket, for example? Yeah, just like a damn tourist. It was a kid, and he knew what he was doing. A young boy, was it? Uh, then he's still up to his old tricks. I know the lad, and his is a sorry tale. Not likely to hear a sadder one in all of Yusnan. If I compensated you, would you be so good as to forget this happened? You're sure it was this kid? Yes, it could be none other than the orphan boy Pickett. Then maybe he should be punished. He needs to learn that stealing is wrong. You see, the poor boy has lost both of his parents. Have you no sympathy at all? I've got plenty. He's not the first person in this world to lose someone they love. Have you... Uh, have you lost family too? Maybe. You have, haven't you? I can tell. Then you can help the boy. Someone like you will be able to reach out to him. I need you to give him this letter. It's from his father, who gave it to me for safekeeping. It's the only thing he left his son. I'll do it. But I don't see why you can't give it to him yourself. How did you know his father anyway? We were both hunters who tracked ferocious monsters. But then Pickett's father was killed, and... His death was my fault. And so, he refuses to accept the letter from my hands. Please, won't you give Pickett the letter from his father? It may help him end his criminal ways and get his life back on track. It's the real good tonight. So I emptied out my savings and tried to... Choco, Choco Ball! Ooh, you're a new friend. Can you say the magic word? Uh, please? Nope. I'm afraid that's not what I'm looking for. Check out our posters around town, then come back and try again. This is your last act. Thanks for waiting. Act 
Tears fall. Savior's got a job. Do you dream of death? Keep the darkness and release you.
Welcome! A customer! This is so exciting! What can I get you? Well, what do you serve? Anything you want. How about the chef special made from top quality recycled materials? Deep fried niblet hair balls. Um, are you sure that's actually edible? Oh yes, it definitely won't kill you, I can guarantee it. And since you're my first customer in days, no charge. Nothing ventured. That's the spirit. Take the plunge, I say. Well, does it make your taste buds sing? Are you transported to culinary heaven? This is... Too tart? Too much salt, perhaps. I can brush it off if you like. No, it's actually really good. God, that is a relief. Uh, I mean, of course it's good. I knew you'd love it. I've been working on the recipe for weeks. Unfortunately, it's not very nutritious. People are more health conscious these days, which is ironic considering the times. Nutritious or not, you'd think that more people would come back for this. I think it must be me. I just don't have a head for business. No matter how hard I work, I just can't seem to attract more customers. I've been living on the brink of financial ruin for years now. My son got sick of it, so he left. You've got the chops to be a good cook, though. Why don't you try to find yourself a partner? You know, someone you trust who has a better head for business. Now that you mention it, I hear there's a famous food expert here in Yusnan. Apparently, he specializes in turning around lost causes like mine. I'll bet... No, I know he can help me, but how do I find him? All I know is his name. And what is it? Gordon Gourmet. Despite his fame, he's hard to track down. If you do happen to run into him, could you tell him about CDs? Gordon Gourmet. I'll remember it. You are far too kind. Thank you so much. I hope you find him soon. Come enjoy this. Fare thee well. I ate too many goblin apples. Palace guards are conducting a search for the intruder, calling yourself the savior. She has rose-colored hair and is carrying an enormous weapon. Citizens are asked to reward persons matching this description to the nearest security. Welcome to the only show. Thanks for dropping it. Can you say? Uh, please? Nope. Hello and welcome. We oh, Palace guards are conducting a search for the intruder, calling herself the savior. She has rose-colored hair and is carrying an enormous yeah. weapon. Citizens are asked to report persons matching their description to you the will. security officer. Please? 
It seems you can get your hands on some fireworks if you know that. Choco, Chocobo, it's time to tell. What are the magic words? I don't have a choice, do I? Uh, meow, meow, Choco Chow. Oh, that was adorable. Here, this is for you. You managed to get the fireworks light. It was quite the achievement. What? Is something amusing you? you give back what you stole. It belongs to you anyway. Did you notice? Huh? What is it? A letter? And it's addressed to me? Oh yeah? Huh. It's from my old man. What am I supposed to do with this? Why are you asking me? It's yours now. Throw it away for all I care. Damn right I'll throw it away. And I don't need your permission either. Listen, I'm not gonna pretend I understand. It must be hard for you. Losing your parents, then being trapped in a child's body for centuries and centuries all alone. That's right. You can't understand. No one can. Let me tell you something. I lost my parents, but it wasn't the same. I still had my sister. I wasn't left all on my own. I was luckier than you. So, your parents are dead too? Yeah. It happened a long time ago, but I remember being really angry. People pitied me treated me like a helpless child. I couldn't stand it. So, I pushed people away and built walls around me. But I still had my sister. She understood me. It's not fair. I didn't have anyone. I was left all alone. I know. If it were me, I couldn't have done what you did. You're a lot stronger than I am. You've done an amazing thing, going through that and surviving all these years. You should be proud of yourself. I should? I've never felt proud about anything, but when you put it like that, maybe I should be proud. Good evening, it's 11 p.m. and that means slaughterhouse time. This way, ladies. Watch the world's mightiest and most foolhardy warriors duke it out in Houston's famous battle Do you arena. want fireworks too? Brought to you by the Recreation and Leisure Committee and the Association of Health Potion Holders. This is where we set off the fireworks. Palace guards are conducting a search for the intruder. <laughs> gave the letter to pick it, although I guess it's more accurate to say he stole it off me. He did? Um, but you know what? It might be the last thing he steals. I saw him just a little while ago and something was different about him. He seemed proud, holding his head high. Why, he reminded me of his father. I think his criminal days might be over. You did the right thing, helping that child. Maybe you shouldn't call him that. Child, I mean. He seems more mature than other kids. If you treated him more like the young man that he's become, he might listen to you. Yes, you're absolutely right. The next time I see little Pickett, I shall address him not as a child of my dear friend, but as a man in his own right. Thank you so much for all your help. <laughs> 